Here's another Gel Ball Blaster Master custom creation. What I did here is I took a Gen 8.5 from Emmerboo. So check out Emmerboo Blasters on Amazon.com. They got some really nice, um, by USA standards, definitely high-end blasters, metal gears, metal barrels, upgraded springs, upgraded motors, 11.1 .1 batteries, and if you get one of those on Amazon, they got it like the M4, or the MK18. You're going to be, you know, on average 275 FPS, and I've definitely validated that and, you know, hit highs of 300. So those are legitimate numbers, right? So a good receiver to start with uh, when I'm doing some mods. And then if you up the spring in there, um, I put an M110 in there, which is definitely pushing the limits. And I say that in any of these videos where I've done it. So you are going to, you know, wear down those gears faster if you go with an M110. And you might want to be a little cautious with an M110 in there. But then you can be hitting, you know, sometimes highs of 350, um, which is just pretty cool to push the limits on these. And so anyway, that's why I go with that receiver when I can, when I have extra ones around to build, you know, even higher power, um, more durable blasters since they have those metal gears in there. So what I did is um, obviously I got some printed parts here and um, I had a filament company send me some PLA plus high-speed filament for my Anchor Make uh, 3D printer. And since they sent it to me, of course, I got to mention them. And they're, they're labeled Active Me on Amazon. There's a link in the description. And they're actually very reasonably priced high-speed filament, which is harder to find. That's a newer thing now with the newer high-speed printers. So make sure you check them out, too. So I know. Sorry. Lots of product plugs there. Let's get to the blaster, though. So I had an existing HK416C handguard, okay? So I had this existing handguard here, and I thought, well, let's go ahead and adapt it to work with an M4A1. So I printed the uh, special connector piece that allows the receiver to connect to the handguard. So that just actually twists on there like your normal handguard would. And then I wanted to you know, the, the inner barrel on these actually does come out to about here, if the standard size. So I prefer to do that. I don't like cutting metal barrels just because then you need to port cylinders and also getting a perfect cut so there's no frayed edges. And it's keeping the inside smooth when you're trying to, to file it or grind it can just can lead to problems. They're going to lower your FPS or just shred gel balls. So kept that out there. So printed this long inner outer inner outer barrel and then it's threaded and then so you got the tip on here where it's threaded all right I had a 3d printed grip there that I added on and then I went with a riser here just again to add stability when I put a barrel on there if I don't feel that it's quite tight enough or when I put the handguard on and though this was pretty tight I still think it's just always a good practice when I'm uh, modifying them to go with some type of riser or something to just even reinforce that and keep that nice and straight. Got this little grip down here. And then we got like a drop stock on the back. So you can see a little different variation of one I've done before. So this just opens up and then slides off, so, or loosens and then slides off and that's how you access your battery. So your battery's in here and you can fit those small 11.1s in here. And I do have links in the um, Amazon store link that shows you plenty of different 11.1 batteries you can buy on Amazon. So if you're looking for those. All right, so that's the main thing with the M110 Springs from X-Force TAC USA. That's why I got that patch up there. New thing I'm doing just to kind of, you know, tie in colors, a lot of these you know, things are for cosmetic purposes, right? Like put the little um, kill flash there on the holographic and then color matching it. And really that's more for cosmetics. You know, and same with like just painting out a few pieces red here and there in the receiver. Trying to leave most places when I can that are heavily touch points, leave them the regular plastic just because, you know, paint is going to wear over time no matter how good a job you do, and no matter how patient you are, letting it sit. All right, so that's kind of the basic rundown here. Went with a little different way of, so this attaches using a piece 
that is just like the, the native piece or the regular stock piece that comes, so it twists on. But then I also have a way where I have basically some heat inserts inside here that are for this size bolt. And then I ran the bolt this way because it cannot pull out then and then tighten it on this end. So it's definitely really nice and tight and because that's something I've run into before using some different ways of connecting um, the non uh, the non stock stock options right so that works really good and that's on there nice and tight I've played with it a little bit definitely over 300 FPS but you're gonna have to go back or you're gonna have to watch the demo video and see exactly where we're at uh, of course comments or questions post them below if you have any questions about the 3d printing about the parts about the pieces about the blaster please go ahead and leave those or message me directly i try to have a ton of information in the description around anything and everything i do um, so you can always check the description too there's a lot of links in there for lots of different things regarding gel ball blasters all the stores online stores i recommend my amazon storefront that has all the amazon stuff i recommend you know the names of the 3d printer i use the 3d printer filament where I get my 3D printer files, all that stuff's down there. All right, so comments, questions, please post them below. Of course, like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends, and participate in those monthly giveaways, guys. Over $200 worth of blasters and accessories every month, and I'm closing in on 10,000 subs, so if I'm not there by the time this is published, there's an extra special giveaway uh, that I've got planned for that. If I am there, thanks for helping me get there, and we'll just continue to have our regular awesome giveaways monthly until another milestone or holiday sometimes. All right, thanks. Have a great summer.